Airline travel is considered to be at an all-time high this year in many parts of the country, including here in St. George. Traffic through the St. George Regional Airport is setting records over pre-pandemic times. Literally, we are, we've surpassed, surpassed our highest number by, what, 30,000 passengers this year? So, and that's without December in there. And I imagine we'll have somewhere between 20 and 20 and 28, 20, yeah, somewhere in there, 28,000, maybe 20,000 passengers in December. St. George Regional Airport has been on the upswing for the past several years and would have set records in 2019 had it not had to shut down for runway repairs. Then COVID hit in 2020 and that took the numbers way down. And then obviously 2020, COVID hit, we dropped down to 180,000 which was back uh, kind of comparable to 2016 numbers. And then this year in 2021, at this current time at, in November, without December being calculated, we're at 304 already. A new airline service was even being added in 2021. At the end of July, Avalo announced a new flight in and out of Burbank to begin in October. However, due to another variant of COVID, that didn't happen. Um, and they were going to do that twice a week, kind of like the uh, Legion model. Um, they called us up and said, hey, Rich, we kind of feel like we probably ought to step back and just push that off until the, possibly the first quarter of 2022 to see what California is doing. And a new Dallas-Fort Worth flight had just taken off in 2019 prior to the pandemic when it too scaled back. And so we knew that in November it was going to end and then it'll start back up in March. And then what my goal is is to make it no longer a seasonal, um, no longer a seasonal market because um, that market, Dallas-Fort Worth, um, uh, was phenomenal. But not to worry, Stamire said with the announcements of two Ironman World Championships in 2022, he expects that travel by air will be higher even yet. We have two Ironman World Championships here, one in the spring, one in the fall. Um, uh, we have, you know, marathons, we got all these sports events that we have, but those two things are kind of like having the Olympics twice in one year, and it's going to be huge. And while many will be flying home for the holidays in the coming weeks, flights are down in December in St. George. That's because there are less flights per day being offered by some of the airlines. We're a little less right now, and I don't know if that's because of, uh, again, the same thing that Americans doing is they were obligated to a different market and had to pull those air aircraft or if it's a, a pilot thing or whatever. And, and you'll, you'll just have to, we'll have to find out from the airlines exactly what that is. But, um, but still, for the, for the airport, we're having, a, we're having a awesome banner year. In the meantime, plans to expand the terminal continue to be drawn out in 2022. We're, we're looking at um, expanding the terminal ramp. Uh, we're doing the design portion of it this year. And then next year we'll do the actual build out to expand so we have more room to park more aircraft. And then with that, we're also in conjunction with the master plan looking at um, those um, key drivers that, that need to happen when we start looking at um, uh, expanding the terminal and that type of thing. Tourism is still the biggest draw to the area, with increased visits to Zion National Park and other beautiful places to see. While COVID travel restrictions are still requiring masks and precautions are still being taken, international travel has also slowed down due to restrictions. It's still a um, majority of tourism, not business. Business hasn't really got back, um, and we're still missing the international travel. Um, that has not come back at all. It was starting to come back, and then the Omicron, Omicron uh, you know, um, version came on and that kind of uh, slowed that way down. So, Regardless of the stumbling blocks, Staymeyer believes that St. George Regional Airport's growth is a reflection of the growth that's happening in Washington County. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.